devastating images and videos have laid bare the horror of Vladimir Putin's lawless invasion of Ukraine, as Russian troops unleash heavy gunfire and missiles on local residents. Heartbreaking footage, taken in Irpin, located on the outskirts of the besieged capital city Kyiv, confirmed that Russian forces are attacking heavily populated civilian areas where men, women and children are leaving the country as the Russian tyrant continues denying bombing Ukrainian cities. One image depicted a mother and her two children lying dead on the pavement after they were killed in Irpin as they tried to flee the city, whilst their father was wounded by a mortar shell as hundreds of civilians sought safety. It comes as U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken today said there are very credible reports that Russia has committed war crimes during its invasion of Ukraine, particularly in attacking civilians. A second attempt to evacuate refugees from Mariupol was scuppered again today after the city was shelled just minutes into an agreed ceasefire. Some 400,000 residents were hoped to be evacuated from 12 p.m. today, with an initial agreement in place until 9 p.m., but residents are now having to take cover in bomb shelters without electricity and water. It followed similar attempts on Saturday when plans to evacuate refugees were halted when shelling recommenced 45 minutes into a ceasefire. The International Committee of the Red Cross said, amid devastating scenes of human suffering in Mariupol, a second attempt today to start evacuating an estimated 200,000 people out of the city came to a halt. The failed attempts yesterday and today underscore the absence of a detailed and functioning agreement between the parties to the conflict. However, in a telephone call with French President Emmanuel Macron, Putin blamed Kyiv for the failed evacuations. Putin instead claimed Ukrainian nationalists prevented civilians and foreign citizens from leaving the port city and neighboring Volnovaka. But Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky today warned that Russian forces are preparing to shell Odessa, a historic port city on the Black Sea coast. In a video address, the Ukrainian leader said, they are preparing to bomb Odessa. Russians have always come to Odessa. They have always felt only warmth in Odessa only sincerity. And now what? Bombs against Odessa? Artillery against Odessa? Missiles against Odessa? It will be a war crime. It will be a historical crime. Almost a million people live in Odessa, a cosmopolitan harbor on Ukraine's southern coast with both Ukrainian and Russian speakers and Bulgarian and Jewish minorities. Analysts have previously said that taking Odessa would be a huge strategic victory and would give Russia a chokehold on Ukraine's economy. Russia has made progress in southern Ukraine since its invasion 11 days ago, overrunning the city of Kherson and shelling the port of Mariupol, but Odessa has so far been largely spared. A factory and a store are burning after been bombarded in Irpin, in the outskirts of Kyiv, Ukraine, Sunday March 6, 2022. Ukrainian servicemen try to help people who have been wounded in Irpin, as an increasingly delusional Putin is insisting that Russia is not bombing Ukrainian cities, despite mounting fears that 100 people are buried under rubble after an apartment block near Kyiv was struck and after a cluster bomb attack on the city of Chernihiv killed 49 earlier this week. A mother and two children were killed and the father was wounded by a mortar shell as hundreds of civilians sought safety. A Ukrainian soldier walks past the corpses of a family lying on the ground after shelling by the Russian army at the evacuation point of Irpin. Several members of the same family have been killed in this attack while trying to flee person, who was trying to flee with his family, lies on the ground after the shelling of the Russian army at the evacuation point of Irpin, several members of the same family have been killed in this attack today. Earlier this morning, artillery hit a queue of people outside a grocery store in the Piatakatki neighborhood of Kharkiv, northern Ukraine. A wife says her goodbyes to her husband who is a member of the territorial defense as she evacuates Irpin, Ukraine, on Sunday. A woman who has just been safely evacuated from Irpin prays for those people who have stayed in the city as it is targeted by Russian shells. People who just evacuated from Irpin rush through the checkpoint on Sunday. It is understood three civilians were killed and others were wounded as Russian mortar rounds landed between Irpin and Kyiv this morning. Former heavyweight boxing champion Vladimir Klitschko visits a block post near Kyiv, Ukraine, earlier today. People cross on an improvised path under a bridge that was destroyed by a Russian airstrike, while fleeing the town of Irpin, Ukraine, on Saturday. 
asked Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky, pictured, today warned that Russian forces are preparing to shell Odessa, a historic port city on the Black Sea coast. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky, pictured, today warned that Russian forces are preparing to shell Odessa, a historic port city on the Black Sea coast. People place a man in a wheelchair in the back of an SUV after crossing on an improvised path under a bridge that was destroyed by a Russian airstrike, as people flee the town of Irpin, Ukraine, on Saturday. As residents continue to evacuate across cities in Ukraine, heartbreaking footage shows that civilians are being attacked with heavy gunfire and missiles in Irpin, 20 kilometers northwest of Kyiv. Many Ukrainian war refugees have taken a long and perilous journey to flee the destruction brought about by President Vladimir Putin, with one. Five million crossing into neighboring countries in 10 days, new stats have revealed. Yuri, who who was shot in the leg while evacuating civilians from the shelled city of Irpin receives first aid on Sunday afternoon. Yuri, who who was shot in the leg while bravely evacuating civilians from the shelled city of Irpin gets taken to the hospital. Ruslan from the Territorial Defense shows where a bullet came through his jacket as he gets medical help for a wound received during shelling near Irpin earlier today. Separately, on Sunday, the head of Kyiv-controlled Lugansk Regional Administration said a train would be organized to evacuate women, children and the elderly from Lysyhansk. Lysyhansk is near the front line between Ukrainian forces and Moscow-backed separatists, who are fighting to link up with the Russian forces and control the entire southeast. If Russian forces succeed in capturing Mariupol which held out against rebel forces in the previous 2014 conflict, they will control Ukraine's entire Azov Sea coast. This would give them a land bridge from Russia to Russian annexed Crimea and an important supply route and port if they decide to push north in a bid to take all of eastern Ukraine. But although the Russian bombardment of Ukraine thus far has resulted in widespread destruction and considerable civilian casualties, Ukraine's armed forces and territorial defense units have also inflicted major losses on Russia's air force. New footage shows the moment an alleged Russian jet was shot down over Ukraine's second city Kharkiv earlier today. Oleg Senegabov, the regional governor of Kharkiv, claimed that the Russian Su-25 fighter was destroyed by Kharkiv's air defense forces, which was later confirmed by the Kyiv Independent. Video appears to show the plane erupt into a huge fireball as it is struck by two surface-to-air missiles, SAM, over Kharkiv city center, before the twisted remains tumbled out of the sky and exploded again upon impact with the ground. Senegabov said the plane was part of a squadron of between five and seven aircraft which have been conducting regular bombing runs over Ukraine's second city. Kharkiv is one of the city's worst hit by Russian bombing campaigns in recent days, after Putin ordered his forces to engage in sustained shelling of several locations across the country. Kyiv reported late last night that they have downed a total of 44 Russian planes and 44 helicopters in the past 11 days, providing further evidence of Russia's failure to gain air superiority, a tactical advantage that Putin thought would be achieved on the first day of the war. The Armed Forces Air Command reported early this morning that one Su-25 fighter, two Su-34 fighter bombers, two Su-30SM planes, and three helicopters were shot down yesterday alone. 